What's up guys, Freddy Fishfinger here, and I'm going to talk to you about Pokemon Hollow Mysteries. It is a ROM hack of Pokemon Fire Red, which I put together myself. So this is me just putting a little update out there. Um, the graphics for the final update, because that's my plan, I'm going for one final update with the game, and then I'm going to put it to rest. And I'm happy to play it from there, but I'm not going to clean it up, I'm not going to fix it, because I will be finished with it. It's as good as I will be able to get it. In the final thing, I've fixed a lot of the graphics, and mainly battle sprites, because some of the battle sprites of some of the trainers were just, you know, pretty subpar. I think the worst one, in my opinion, was one of the Elite Four members. You know, I don't really want to spoil it for those of you who haven't played it, but one of them was just god awful and i seriously regret the hell of letting that one slide through but that, that doesn't matter because i fixed it up now and it looks a lot better along with the battle sprites some of you may know if you've played through the game were the text box sprites for the actual people what i've done is i've actually scrapped all of them because i think there was only one that was decent and even still the battle sprite for that person was better so what i've done is i've taken all the battle sprite put them in for those, um, for those tech box right? So I've just lem let them go through and it'll just work so much better with the game because it feels a lot cleaner. I've changed just, just about all the Pokemon that exist within the game now have a fourth generation style sprite. So for those of you that don't know what that means, Basically, whatever sprite the Pokemon had in Pokemon Platinum is now the sprite that it would have in this game. Um, of course, the Pokemon that existed within the Nova region as a fifth generation Pokemon that didn't exist in Platinum, all of those have been created by um, by someone called Chaos Rush. You can go check them out mainly on the Pokemon community. Um, this person's got a whole sprite library. Pokemon um, from first generation through the fifth generation in the platinum style. Um, literally, the sprite style is amazing, so I wouldn't have got anywhere without that. And just about all the Pokemon exist within that sprite style from here. There's an exception for a few, and that's either because the Pokemon didn't change much, say like Pichu, because it's a baby Pokemon that doesn't really change, or because on the rare occasion, I preferred the third generation style sprite to the platinum one. Say like Machoke, because I think Machoke's platinum sprite is just weird, but that's my opinion. So, other than that, we get down to mapping. The mapping has been changed in just about most areas. In some areas, it's a large difference that have been that it's been changed by. In some areas, it's not huge, but it's noticeable. In some, it may not be noticeable, but it's there. The point is that hopefully the game's maps don't look so cluttered and forced together now. The hope was that it's more neat and it seems to exist and work as a world from this point. Um, the only changes that are going to happen in the map from now are the ones that are absolutely necessary to get the game to script out properly and stuff like that. And that brings me to my next point about scripting. For those of you that don't know what scripting is, it's basically everything from you talking to someone in the world of Pokemon to you battling against your Kyogre and your Groudon in the Cave of Origin. So, you know, in Pokemon Yellow and Red and stuff like that, you know, going to the end and going to fight Mewtwo, literally. There are so many things that scripting entails. And I have, I can safely say that up until the second gym, all of those scripts work so far. All of them work and all of them have been fixed, or at least the ones that needed to have been fixed. So, we can safely say that up until that point, the game works. From that point on, it's yet to be tested because I've actually got to go through the game and play it to find out, but I don't know how that's going. Then there's a couple of things I want to mention. Firstly, is that there is a change to the title screen, and I know that it's not perfect. Before anybody says anything, I know it's not perfect. 
but in my opinion, it's better than the one that existed before because the background was literally an eyesore. In this one, whilst you can tell that the palette just doesn't quite work and the colour in some areas is just wrong, it it's it's hard to say that it's better, but it is. It's it's not finished and believe me, I want it to be perfect, but I literally had to pull out the old laptop that I have, which is dying, just to get this one in to look like this. And for whatever reason it would not revert to the perfect style that I wanted it to be and I even tried inserting a whole new one which looked amazing. That's what I want a Pokemon Holo Mystery to look like and it, for whatever reason it just would not work for me and it's devastating when you sit there going I can make it look good I just need the things to work with me and they just wouldn't so maybe I've just done too much with the ROM to actually get it to work at this stage I don't know. But still the things that I won't be changing in this game, and I wanted to mention this last because for those of you that have been waiting around going, well, there's a couple problems with the game. Firstly is that there's, an, there's a glitch when you select the female character. Now, basically what happens is all the background goes all funny and turns all black and you can see all these glitchy spots. The female character still works in game. For those of you that don't know, you select it. The game works perfectly fine. It just looks really funny. So have yourself a laugh if you pick the female character because it, it making you know every time I see it I go oh god I wish I could fix that but I I don't want to touch it because last time I tried to fix the intro screen that's how it turned out. So I'm scared to do any more. The other thing is that I know that so many people want an in-game map for this game and believe me I tried four different programs four different tutorials to get it to work and for whatever reason it just would not work for me um, if I do a new ROM hack I will swear that I will try my absolute heart out to get it to work but at this stage I'm just going to go along with the fact that I cannot get a world map to be put in this game that's why, unlike previous uploads where they've got a little map thing which is really difficult to read and in hindsight I wish I'd done more, this time there is a proper real life map which you guys can actually work out. Now it is a little bit funny and that's because I had to actually reduce the size of all the maps to make it fit on the, um, on the image file to actually work so everything's at about half size but it does look just about exactly like that so for the most part you should be able to pinpoint on the map where you are other than that i don't want to say that hollow mysteries will be done at any particular time because i cannot say when i will be able to finish it it's not for a personal reason or for anything like that it's just there are so many things that are unpredictable. Just know that I am going through the game and cleaning it up and fixing it, and hopefully it will be done sooner rather than later. Um, if you guys, you know, appreciate that, or you guys want to play Hollow Mysteries when it's done, you know, leave a comment, leave a like, that'd be sweet. And for anybody that's thinking, well, it's too late or whatever, then, you know, maybe it is. I don't know, but... The point is I really want to make it something proper and if you still don't like the game then that's cool you don't have to like everything but other than that I will bring another um, video saying when it is done um, but I can't say when that is because I have no idea myself in any case I've said everything that needs to be said about Pokemon Hollow Mysteries so here's looking to the future when it's done Freddy Dishfinger 